So guys, in the past few months, we have been seeing a constant push of updates, bringing new features and options that we've never seen before. And to be quite honest, it feels like 2024 is the year for updates with every single company pushing for the latest and greatest software. Just earlier this year, Tesla surprised us with a banger of an update, bringing a handful of new features that we have never had in a Tesla before. All of these were part of the spring update with some of the highlights being the auto shift beta, sentry mode preview, auto trunk, as well as the brand new UI. And of course, we've also gotten some smaller but just as important features such as Are We There Yet, Audible Support, Spotify Playback, and a bunch of other amazing little updates. Then, as the weeks went by, Tesla further expanded it to all of their vehicle lineups. The Cybertruck finally got a software update which made it on par with the rest of the vehicles and at some point even surpassing it. The Model S 3X and Y received some quality of life comfort features such as blind spot alert and the adaptive headlights for the older models. And then just shortly after that, Tesla released their HD mapping system exclusive to certain markets. This provides exceptional detail and something that you can never really imagine. If you want to know more about this partnership and what they had to do to make this new mapping work, definitely go check out my previous video. I'll drop that in the description and right up top there, but tons of details and all the incredible incredible images that you really want to see. So now let's get straight to it and let's talk about Tesla's voice assistant which is noticeably better than anything other OEM or legacy manufacturers are able to provide but it is a step down when you do compare it to anything the Chinese has offering out there in their own electric vehicle segments. As of right now, the voice assistant in your Tesla can do pre-configured functions, things such as a navigation, play the music, turn off and on the lights, so on and so forth. But outside of those predetermined commands and when you start to ask it more complicated questions, this is where it all starts to fail. As the system is currently not tied to any external databases, nor is it connected to the web, you are unable to ask it things like the weather, the hockey game, and even basic calculator commands it is unable to do. Now, I would think that this is a lot more understandable if this was just a basic car, it was not connected to the internet, and it was not considered to be a spaceship, but the fact that it is all this and it cannot do what a lot of other cars in China are able to do, this is a little bit disappointing for owners. In contrast, if you compare this to any EV manufacturer in China, you will start to realize that Tesla is really falling behind when it comes to their voice assistant system. Although there are many out there, a really good example here of an EV manufacturer that has all the things tied down is going to be the company called NIO. What really sets this company apart is not just the way that they make EVs be recognized, but the way that they have them charged, the way that they are connected through our lifestyle, and the way that it gathers the community together. But more importantly, the thing that sets NIO apart is the way they have changed how you interact with your car when it's being driven. Now don't get me wrong here, the point of this video is not to showcase or market this vehicle and its company, but it is to really recognize what voice assistance is able to do, and the best example of it is what Neo has done with Nomi. Nomi is essentially a cute little UI face that sits on the dashboard of your car, and it is there to assist you with practically everything and without clicking a single button. It is not only there to control the functions of the car, which it can practically do every part of it unlike what Tesla is able to achieve but it is also able to connect with everything on the outside of the car so things such as web based searches and the weather as well as stocks these are things that are very exclusive to this Nomi system. Now the way to activate Nomi is pretty simple it is always sitting there ready to help you with anything all you need to do is just use the wake word hey Nomi and this is where the system will activate and it will continue the two way conversation with you. Now the coolest thing about Nomi is that it gives you that per personal connection within a car and this sets it up for so many things and now with their newest version NT 2.0 they have come out with Nomi chat GPT or Nomi GPT for short and this is where it's able to do incredible things outside of what the system is currently able to. We won't get too deep into this one but according to the company this version of Nomi is going to incorporate a large language model which will have deeper emotional connection and make it smarter overall. So with 
with all that being said, looking back at what Teza is offering right now, we start to question what direction they're moving in and if we're ever going to get any part of these features. Well, the wait is finally over. Teza has just recently rolled out a software update, bringing alongside a ton of new features for their voice assistant. Just about a month ago, Green the Only, who decompiles firmware updates looking for changes, has found the integration of the new voice assistant. And now with this update finally rolling out, we really really got to see exactly what it's made of. Not only is this voice assistant now enabled through a wake word rather than a click of a button, it is now able to understand a lot more natural language, meaning you can ask it in various different ways and it will still get what you mean. It is also now taking advantage of web-based services, so it's able to search things as the weather, stocks, and a bunch of different events that are coming up. These are things that we have been requesting for a very long time and it's finally making it into our cars. Now, now unfortunately, this has only rolled out to the Chinese market so far, but there is no doubt that they are going to be coming out with a version for the US and the rest of the world. Elon has recently hinted that their artificial intelligence Grok could eventually make its way into all Tesla vehicles as their full self-driving computer are more than capable of handling the system. So now with what we've seen, we really know the true potential of what these artificial intelligence are able to do within the car and it could be coming out fairly soon in a software update and this is going to drastically change the way that you interact with your vehicle. I would say that this is a really big deal when it comes to full self-driving and the robo taxi service. This is like having your own personal chauffeur that can respond back to you and you can have a one-on-one -on -one communication as you would do if somebody is sitting in the front seat. But really time will tell what we're going to be getting but there is a lot of hope that something good is going to be coming out this year just just because this is the year for software as I've mentioned, 2024 is really going to blow all of our minds. But yeah, this should be it for this video. I will continue to keep you as updated as possible. So definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Over there you guys can chat with me and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. But this should wrap it up for this one. I will see you in the next. This is John once again. Peace out.